Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. So, yes, you guys might be wondering, what am I seeing? This doesn't look like 2K. Well, this has a lot to do with 2K and in specifics, Terry Dishinger. So, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of speculation, especially from DVG, Splash Edition. Does Terry Dishinger exist? Is he put on accounts for 2K's sake? Or how many games does it take? Because some people have played a ridiculous amount of games and haven't seen the dentist so we're going to be making an in-depth kind of analysis of how many people got terry how many people didn't get terry the overall games played and then the number of games it will take you on average to see the dentist but before we dive in depth to this if you are new to my channel and have not yet please smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers so there's a lot here. So obviously we have the yes column for people who did get Terry. We have the no column for people who didn't get Terry. Now, if you look at how many responses we did have, we did have, I mean, over 280 responses. So if you're kind of wondering how how good of data is this, is this sufficient data? I would say it's pretty it's pretty reliable data. Now remember, the some numbers are upwards of 1,500. So if one number is, is not entered in here, remember, let's say like 300 entries, uh, let's say we had a total of 300 entries instead of 280. Our numbers might be a little, a couple numbers off, uh, but this is pretty reliable data, data because we did have a lot of people who did reply to the tweet. So obviously we have a bunch of yeses, we have a bunch of noes. Overall, guys, overall the amount of yeses for that they got Terry Dishinger to the amount of noes is right here. So 60% of people got Terry Dishinger, 171, and 39% of people did not that's that 112 number so add those two numbers up and you guys are looking at 183 total entries so a lot of data like i said wait no 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 283 uh entries i said 183 yeah that would have not been enough so we do have a lot of entries here guys and as you guys can see if you scope out the nose just look at some of these numbers that people have played for terry and not seen him 600 imagine that's a lot of games 700 17 15 are you kidding me and then you got you go up you got a thousand here you got upwards of 400 and let's just think if you've played over 1700 games for terry dishinger let's think each game takes five minutes that's 12 games per hour you guys you guys do the math like you guys do the math that is so many games so many hours on the game for terry without seeing it we got another 1100 up here it's just absolutely ridiculous because if you play triple threat offline let's say let's say you could get 15 games in in an hour let's say for the sake of this video you can you're still looking at it in one full day you're not you still can't even get over 400 games and so it's definitely a lot of games a lot of time a lot of days being spent for some of these people in the no column and then we got some people in the yes column five three two and then you got uh where's he at one like some of these guys literally played one game and got terry some people have played 1700 games and haven't gotten terry some people have played 795 in the yes column we also see 1135 so eventually obviously you will get terry if you play enough games but man 1500 games before seeing terry is absolutely wild when going through the data no one thing is for sure there is a lot of games being played within these two numbers i don't have the exact uh total number of games but if you add both of these numbers i could come up with it okay all you got to do all you got to do is the average games total is 260 take that times 283 and you're looking at a lot of games guys you're looking at a lot of games being played you guys do that quick math and you're looking at a lot of triple threat online games for the sake of this video i'm gonna look up that number quick well i forgot to calculate that when coming up with this video but i want to know that number so 283 times 260 73 thousand games played for terry dishinger just in this just in 100 and 283 people that is absolutely ridiculous 2k and out of that only 171 people said yes so that's just kind of the, the number to keep in the back of your mind out of the total amount of yeses it did take the people who got terry dishinger an average of 208 games now remember these the people in the yes column they probably stopped after getting terry so people in the no column the average of, of the no's is 340 games so the average people person that has not gotten terry has played 340 games 
how demoralizing that has to be i played 167 in solitary so that is absolutely demoralizing as, as you guys can see the maximum number of games on the yes column is 1500 on the no column it is 1715 the minimum game as you guys can see yes is one no is 60 so that's crazy for me the, it, but that's part of the tweet right so if people that's kind of the skewedness some people probably have played three or four games for terry uh in triple third offline but they don't want terry people who want terry are the ones going to reply be replying to the tweet now the median here the median for the yeses is 133 and the nos is 265 and then obviously the most occurring so uh, 150 seems like the magic number for terry in the yes column and then the mode on the no side is 200 so once you get to that 200 mode number people are just ready to be done ready to call it quits so obviously as you guys can see the yes is 60 percent of people said that they have gotten terry 112 112 out of 283 said no and that is 39 so the overall average that number really doesn't matter but the overall average number of games played is 260 but that's not the amount that it takes to get terry dishinger because that includes the nose right so that includes the people who didn't get terry dishinger so that's that's the overall average what we're looking for is the exact number of games that it takes to see terry dishinger and so that's the adjusted overall average. That's the number we're looking for, for how many games on average is it going to take you to see the dentist? So what you gotta do there is you gotta take the overall average times that take that and then you got to take the no's into consideration because the yeses they already got terry so you don't have to take them into consideration but you got to take the no's into consideration you calculate 260 i think it was times like one it was it was i don't know the exact number uh but you got to take that times the the difference between the no's and the yeses and then the adjusted overall average was 363 games that is absolutely wild to think that you have to play 363 games now I'm going to do some quick math for you guys too to, to see how long this 363 games take, okay? That divided by, okay, first we're going to take take that divided by, by 20, hold up. Let me, let me do some, some quick math. So 363 games, how long is it going to take you? Let's say you can get 15 games done in an hour, okay? So you got 15 times 24. That's the first thing. That's right at it, okay? So it's going to basically take you a full game. If you don't lose any games and if you, you get through... 15 games an hour, which is nearly impossible. Let's go a more average number 12. Okay, 12 times 24 isn't getting you the job done. 12 times 30, that's the number. So on average, it's going to take about 30 hours of sitting here gaming. And when I see gaming, like you're eating potato chips, you ain't even got time to eat potato chips. You're just sitting here gaming for 30 straight hours to see the dentist. That is an absolutely wild number. That is a ridiculous number. That is a number that I think is 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 shouldn't be in the game. I mean, but if you think about it, how long does it take to get Anton Jameson? You take that into consideration. Is the dentist really that bad of a reward for the grind? I'll let you guys be the decider. The only part that I don't like about the dentist is the fact that some people have played over 1,700 games and haven't seen him. There should be a required, like there should be a limit, right? If you play 1,000 games and haven't seen him, we'll just give them to you. Something like that because people are playing an absolutely ridiculous amount of games and not seeing Terry. It's kind of unfair for guys like this man right here. Where is he at? The guy that played one game. I got to find him. The legend himself. Column number 73 played one game to get Terry Dishinger. But uh, all in all, guys, I hope you guys did find this video informational. Hopefully, you guys found it ho helpful. And hopefully, all in all, guys, you found this video enjoyable. I know I enjoyed kind of coming up with the exact statistics getting you guys that number because i know i made a video earlier way earlier that suggested 150 games to get terry that is way off more than double 150 games you're looking at 363 games to get a uh, terry dishinger which is just absolutely ridiculous but leave your comments down below do you guys think the terry grind is worth it 363 triple threat offline games or do you guys not think it's worth it again this is not exact i would i would put the number anywhere from let's say 340 to 390 on uh, just kind of that or 380 just kind of that little 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 bit of leeway in case you know we didn't get uh all we obviously didn't get everybody in the 2k community but we got a lot of people uh over almost 300 replies so that's a pretty good sample size but drop your comments down below if you guys think terry is worth it or not let me know if you guys did enjoy the video drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed
SD